Hi, I'm Gloria Verhoeven from Those Verhoevens, and this is my back surgery journey. I wasn't sure if I was going to record any of this, but I thought about it a lot and um, I actually did not even imagine myself being so emotional this morning. I, for some reason, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I had this appointment with a spine doctor and it's something that I've been thinking about for many, 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 many years um, because I have been dealing with back issues since I was 14 years old when um, I was originally injured. I had crushed uh, vertebrae in my lower back and have continued to have a lot of um, residual pain as well as different difficulties with <clears throat> injuries that occurred after that with different things from working to just being trying to be active and everything like that. So Anyway, I'm seeing a spine doctor. I had an MRI a couple weeks ago, which confirmed a lot of things that I uh, was already like worried about. Um, I wouldn't say worried about, I just like, it confirmed what I knew was kind of going on, feeling like, it feels like my bones are rubbing together. Well, it actually feels like, like rusty metal, like rubbing against each other and it's just excruciating. And I just am in pain a lot a lot and I don't want it to rule my life I don't want it to run like my day and um it does and I really 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 focus on um just being busy and doing um the, my daily things but it is interfering with that and trying to figure out if I just keep doing this um and then being laid up because I'm hurt um, and I can't do that. So I got to see this doctor. And then um, they wanted x-rays, so I did that. I think that's the first picture. And then those are my MRIs. There we go. Anyway, um, it's been almost two hours and I'm still waiting. Just got called back. Hey, Abe. But he said that surgery is inevitable and um, he knows exactly what he would do. And I, but he was so kind and I prayed so much to not be emotional because it's so emotional. Just done years and years of physical therapy and uh, chiropractic care and um, exercises and keeping active and mobile, like just trying to keep it mobile and you know I just have always 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 have had pain um but he said that I I will need surgery and so I was concerned about the other discs um being compromised because they look really good but he said they're already starting to lose height um again no, it's like so hard to hear these things and you're like I want to be healthy I want to be strong oh Anyway, funny story, I'm trying to hold this, funny story, um, I go to the desk to get the appointment for, um, and I'm like looking at it and the lady's like, I need to make a copy of this and then you need to go downstairs. And I'm looking at it and I thought it said like, no change because it was from uh, the lab slip for my x-rays. Um, and I was like, does that say no charge, no change, no charge? <laughs> and the lady that was downstairs, um, cause I was going to do the payment for the consult and the x-rays, um, she called and she's like, okay. She's like, I guess there's no charge for today. And I was like, even for the consultation. Okay. So she made a note, made another copy and I mean, that's the weirdest thing. <laughs> like I've been calling so many places to find, um, different doctors that might take my case and 
how much a consultation is. And like, even for Stanford, it's over a thousand dollars just for your appointment for the consultation. Then they were like, and if you need x-rays, that's going to be another thousand dollar, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, so, um, I'm trying a little bit local first. Anyway, so what a sweet doctor, if he did that for his own time, I'm in shock and humbled and grateful, um, unless it's like a mistake, but I mean, it says it in big letters, no charge. And then it's written twice and copies were made. So I was like, okay, that's a blessing. Anyway, I'm supposed to come back in a couple weeks. So lots of praying and um, giving that to the Lord. Thanks for coming along. Okay, I'm getting gas and I called Dennis and told him what the doctor said. <laughs> this would not be obviously jumping into surgery because this is something that I have been dealing with for decades. And I, I even had said that to him like in saying, so if I came when it was like, I had five children and it was inevitable for me to have surgery because Okay, so here I am in my laundry room, trying to give a little update because um, the last time that I had kind of given some info about my doctor's appointment for my back, um, it's been, I think, yeah, a little over a month and I have gotten to spoke, to, I've gotten to speak to the surgeon on the phone, I talked with his nurse, um, and then they wanted me to come in for another uh, uh, appointment to discuss the actual surgery. Um, the surgery that I was actually, had done so much research on and was really, really hoping that I could get uh, is called an ALIF, where they can go in from the abdomen. They can go in front instead of opening the back Anyway, it's, it's like, there's a lot of pros and cons, but, a, but apparently, so the surgeon called me and apparently that I'm not a good candidate for that. Uh, one, because they have to do two levels of my vertebrae, and I've had several abdominal surgeries. I've never had a C-section, but I have had other, um, surgeries. I had hernia repair. I've had a repair from the, from the repair, um, and a, a few other things that, um, I kind of like a roadmap down there, unfortunately. And so because of that and the scar tissue and having been opened up several different places, go having the ALIF, A-L-I-F is what it is. Um, I'm not a good candidate for that. So he wanted to talk to me about that and discuss different things, the possibility of going and seeing someone at Stanford, um, if I really truly wanted that, but then there was the possibility of being denied that surgery anyway by that doctor too. And uh, I talked with Dennis and we prayed about it and I just feel like keep moving forward with this doctor. I feel very confident and at peace with um, that decision, he will uh, try his best to go into the side because I'm gonna have a T lift, which is usually straight into the back. But he is he can do the side, so he's going to try and do that. If he's not able, then he will have to do uh, all the way just the incision completely in my lower back. So um, we talked a lot on the phone, and then of course I went in yesterday um and went over I had a couple questions about like the bone graphing um because some doctors use synthetic and I was really not wanting to do that and he was saying that my bones are in good health and so hopefully he's able to take it from my own bones and I was happy to hear that and um yeah, a few other things, and then we went over that, and also I needed to contact the hospital and go over how we are paying, and um, so I'm supposed to be hearing back, hopefully, today or within the next few days uh, when the surgery can happen, 
and then I have to go in for pre-op, which they want to do blood work, and and that just that's you know just routine. And then I know that also for anesthesia and whatnot for all of that stuff. I was hoping it was going to be like a one to two night stay, but he said that it's a two to three night stay in the hospital. I'm hoping it's you know less. But that just depends on my healing and recovery and the extensive work that he has going to have to do because, um, yeah, sometimes you just, you don't know exactly until you're completely, like the doctor has been in there and the surgery is done and, you know, depending on the time frame of you being under anesthesia and all of that. So there's just so many different factors. Yeah. So let me think if there's anything else. Um, yeah, I... I can't even imagine what it would be like to not have not have this pain every single day. Um I it's just a constant 24/7 thing and um the last couple of years has dramatically increased. I have had pain since I was 14, but it's been totally manageable. There's times where I'm great for months and nothing happens and then boom, something is tweaked just the right way and I'm I'm out of it. And so that's kind of what's happening now. It's like, it's just this constant, like I am laid up more than I'm not. I know that might sound crazy. Our family is so active and we always have something going on, but it is it is hard. And so I am trying to rest as much as possible, which is, it's so difficult. Um, but my body stops me. And so I really have to listen to my body. And, um, you know, I've had a lot of wise people in my life saying, you know, if you, if you don't take care of your well-being, how are you able to take care of others' well-being? And it's very hard as a mom to just be like it's just it's selfless right we're giving of ourselves to our husbands and our family and our home i am praying that this surgery can do that and so i can um just fully recover and be healed and i'm looking forward to that so that i can do that for my family continually and not have to um 